Hunter, is that you? Oh, it's you. Hunter, right? Sorry for, um, last night. Well then, I hope you managed to get a restful sleep. You really think I could sleep after what I've been through? No, Hunter. I definitely did not get any rest last night. I just sat up and stared at the moon. Is it weird that I think she's going to be waiting for me in my dreams? You are not with her anymore. You are here, safe and sound. You need not fear her. <sighs> safe and sound? Seriously? We both know she's still got her claws sunk into me. I can feel them scratching. You may have taken me from her yesterday, but she still wants me by her side. Just like she wants you. <sighs> There's... Uh, something... Something I need to tell you. The moment you drained the darkness from me, I had a vision. What vision? The only way I can describe it was an ancient temple with tentacles etched in stone, reaching up and out like they wanted to strangle the world. I think it was the Temple of Cathan. It was just a premonition, Wanda. It does not mean it will come to pass. Something you should know about me. All my premonitions come to pass. Which is why you have to let me help you stop this one. Are you sure you are up to it? You do not need more time to rest and heal? You want to help me heal? Let me serve Lilith the revenge she deserves for what she did to me. What she did to us. Let me think about it. That's all I ask. I'm not as fragile as I look, you know. I'm up to it. I just want to make sure you are well, Wanda. I don't think I'm ever going to be well again. But I can make sure everyone else is. I'm talking your ear off, aren't I? I don't mean to keep you. Actually, I would like to know more about you. I would like that, too. I want to know more about you. All right. Tell me your story, Wanda. My chaos magic came to me when I was a child in Transia, defending my father from a mob. I quickly learned how much humanity can fear what they don't understand. My twin brother had talents of his own, when the mob came for us, we fled and never looked back. We used our talents to survive, and eventually transcend our lot in life. But Pietro and I disagreed on how. Where is Pietro now? Still in Transia. He believes in a world where mobs don't menace children who are born different. I am not so optimistic. If he stayed in Transia, where did you go? All across Europe. I reinvented myself, lived a quiet life, and explored the limits of my magic. That's how Agatha found me. That's when I learned the source of my chaos magic. She offered to bring me here, so she could teach me how to refine it. <sighs> we had so many plans. Can you give me insight into your magic? Chaos magic is inherently dangerous, for it is the same power wielded by Cathan himself. It is magic forbidden to the Sorcerer Supreme, for its nature is unpredictable and its touch corrupts. But not for me. I leave no stain on reality, and I have used it effortlessly since childhood. I am the exception to the rule. Why is chaos magic so dangerous? If I desire it, I can alter reality itself, or destroy it. And despite what I believed, I can lose control. That's what happened with... with Agatha. Can we talk about your journal, detailing the Abbey's mysteries? Oh my. I'm so sorry. For what? Those were all notes to myself. I'm surprised they make any amount of sense. They do not. Not really. Could you help me decipher them? I... I'm sorry, Hunter. Those journals were what led to Agatha's death. 
I can't be a part of that. Not anymore. I had questions about your life after the Abbey. Such as? What is it like to be an apprentice to Doctor Strange? I'm still getting used to it. After Agatha, I never thought anyone would trust me with magic again. A powerful wielder of chaos magic. Why indeed? That's not how I see myself. I don't know if I'll ever be more than a lost kid from Transia. I wasn't worth Agatha's attention, so why his? It sounds as though you do not want to be his apprentice. No. It's a great honor. I learned so much in such a short time. I just... I don't think I can live up to the idea of apprentice to the Sorcerer Supreme. Yes, Hunter? We shall speak later, Wanda. I look forward to it. Yes, Hunter? We shall speak later, Wanda. Uh hey, boss, head to the forge. There's something you need to see. It's not strange in his pajamas, though I will let you know if that happens. He has these matching slippers with curly toes. A real Santa's elf vibe. But that's not relevant. Come to the forge, okay? I smell tension. He could go a few rounds. Practice makes perfect. Caretaker could have at least left me a chair. seen in my life this is definitely the weird vibes around here pick your target hunter favor just this once I'm here if you need me Did the movie nights ever go away New energy All right Hunter let's get to work Oh you are going to love this Complex runic systems are at play here focus Concentrate, Steven. Do not teleport Tony Stark to Kathmandu. Why do I always have a flat when I need a Phillips head? Looks like Banner didn't tinker too much with Hey, Hunter. Nice. You brought me the good stuff. But I thought to see you never. Hunter. I like you, but you really need to stop. Excellent use of your shield. Why, thank you, Hunter. Good day to you, Hunter. Hey, can I ask a favor? The Midnight Suns are starting to feel like a real positive force for good. Even though we've got several witnesses. Uh, give me a sec. Okay, what's up? What can I say except you're welcome?
Until next time. Today is the first in a long while I haven't awoken to see doom clouds gathering on the horizon. It's a refreshing change of pace. We successfully retrieved the Gamma Accelerator and brought Wanda home. No wonder your mood is lighter. I'm so glad we kept the Accelerator out of Lilith's hands. Although Tony's notion of stopping the prophecy is doomed to failure because the only thing that can stop Cathan is Cathan. But that's a worry for another day. Today is about optimism. Dark days will inevitably return. But I think you are wise to take a moment and appreciate the good things when we have them. Success follows failure. Failure follows success. It's circular. At this moment, we are at a crest. We bask in the warm feelings and pray we don't drown the next time we descend into failure. I would like to talk more, but there is still much for me to do. Too much, but I appreciate the time you gave me. Be well. I'm not sure how to... I can't tell you how great it feels to have the Gamma Accelerator back. Seriously, total game changer. You are well. But we can't start passing out the party favors quite yet. If we don't find Johnny Flame Top and grab the Parchment of Power, this thing is just a glorified barbecue lighter. Johnny Blaze is not nearly the threat to us Banner is. I suspect he will hand it over once he realizes we are the world's last hope. Oh yeah, he's been totally reasonable and thoughtful so far. And if we do get the parchment, you really think you will be able to stop the prophecy? My deepest respect for Dr. Spooky aside, I will put my faith in the laws of particle physics over some moldy old prophecy. Your overflowing confidence is something to behold, Tony. I wish I had some of it. I'll take all you want. I have enough confidence for the whole team. No matter what, though, this whole thing has already been completely worthwhile. Oh? And why is that? Because right now, I'm looking at the Gamma Accelerator. And Bruce Banner is looking at an empty spot where the Gamma Accelerator used to be. All we need now is the Parchment of Power. Are you having problems with your depth perception? Ready for more? Just give me a target. Later. Now we can all just hang out, like old times. I understand you spoke to... Wanda this morning. Tell me. How is she faring? Perhaps you should ask her yourself. I'm sure she would like to hear from you. I'm not ready for that. I can't imagine that she doesn't feel some semblance of betrayal on my part. I was the one who gave up on her, and long before she fell to Lilith. I just thought she was lost to us, beyond saving. No one has been purged of Lilith's corruption before. I didn't think it was possible. But you and Nico made it possible. This isn't easy for me to say, but I'm sorry for ever doubting her. Admitting you are wrong is one of the bravest things we can do. Not as brave as you were last night. Not only did you defy me, but you defied Lilith, and won. I can't help but ask, what was it like, purging Wanda of Lilith's corruption? Did you suffer any strange effects I should know about? I did experience something you should know about. What's that? I had a vision. I believe it was the Temple of Cathan. No. That would mean... Cathan is almost upon us. Then we'd better get to work. Well, that's enough of me monopolizing your time for now. We'll talk more later.
Hydra has a remote server attached to one of their squads in this area, and they've been using it to store communications data captured on the nearby consoles. done most of the legwork, but you still need to access those consoles to retrieve the data. Oh, is that all? here.
surgical rig. the data. Excellent work out there. Now that Wanda's back, I feel like the band is finally back together. Can't wait to get some one-on-one -on -one time with her. Miss that witch. Go easy on her, Robbie. She's been through a lot. It might be a while before things go back to normal again. Tch, normal? Since when were we ever normal? But Nico is right. Wanda might not be as social as we would like her to be. I just want to make sure she knows that we love her and are happy to have her home. Maybe start slow with something familiar, like a movie night. Blade, you just read my mind. Wow, really? What am I thinking now? You must have a mind for it to be read, Robbie. I meant let's have a watching party in Wanda's honor. I think she's really gonna like that. Small victories, Hunter, are always worth celebrating. Like an old friend coming to her senses. May I join you? You can sit over there. 
Forgot how relaxing it is to just zone out and watch a good movie. You of all people deserve to rest. I'm happy to see you got some. Oh, is that why you didn't bring me with you today? Because I needed to rest? That is not what I meant. Yeah, it was. <sighs> now that you're here, you might as well join us. That sounds lovely. All right. Wanda, are those three women witches? They are. They do not seem like witches. That's because they don't know they have powers. Yet. And if they did, they would be wise to hide them. Reminds me of how all the witches tried to hide themselves in 17th century Salem. Times really haven't changed that much. If there is one thing I know for sure, it is that power frightens people. And when people get frightened, well, you know, you literally lived around the times of the Salem witch trials. I was a young child, but yes, Caretaker and Agatha were terrified of being found out in those days. I know the feeling. <sighs> Sometimes I just wished I was, you know, normal. Things would have been easier for me growing up. Easier in what way? Sounds like there is a story there. There's always a story, but this is movie night, not a therapy session. And I really don't know you that well. Fair enough. Besides, we should be paying attention to the movie. We're just getting to the good part. Are those witches actually charmed by that awful man? Well, he is the devil. Sort of. Then why do they not just turn him into a toad or banish him? Because they're good witches, Hunter. Like I hope to be one day. We've been through a lot as a team, but we've come a long way. Wanda's return is an auspicious omen, although Sarah might feel differently. Wanda coming back shows you how fluid these end-of-world situations are. Hydra's on the move. Meet me at the mirror table, ASAP. What have you got for me, boss? Sometimes, I even impress myself. What 
have you brought me today? This should serve our purposes quite nicely, I think. I thought you would choose that one. Evil doesn't take time. Nice to get some fresh air. Time to take it to the next level. She's home. I knew she didn't break bad for good. Just like you wanted. I'll do you a favor, just this once. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to sleep tonight. It's not just the Southwest. Look. A rise of Hydro movement in Eastern Europe. Are you seeing... Disturbance in the force! Not too holy from to the feel of it. Quite the reverse. Oh. Wake up, kid. If you're getting this, well, we gotta have us a little conversation. Ghost Rider to Ghost Rider. I'm listening. In person. Here, at the Mesa. And I need your pit crew, too. Counting on you to bring them. So don't screw it up. I think Blaze feels much of anything. Do you think Blaze wants to apologize? What do you mean something is up with Limbo? More soulless? A little more detail would be appreciated. That's all the detail I can give. But do not worry. I'll stay behind and figure out what's going on. Please do. And next time you sense some kind of danger with Limbo, come talk to me about it first. 
Korasho Bumir. What did you just say? <clears throat> just tell the team I will be watching over them. The Here blaze out, but don't agree to anything. Most importantly, get that page. That rocks. Time for this story to end. One way or another. Ghost Rider to Ghost Rider. Just like you said. And your crew. Good. Because I got us a plan. You want to stop that nasty mama of yours? Stick with me. And keep your traps shut. Who in the Ten Hells do you think you are? Ten? I'm the guy with the answer to your prophecy problem. Damn! We good now. Good hands. Well, not good. <laughs> you understand. Okay. I get it. Actually, I don't. What's the plan here? Hunter's written all over that page, kid. Further we keep him from the midnight sun, the better. And this place is further as it gets. So, what? You, you dump him off in hell with the freaking devil? Limbo with Mephisto. There's a difference. You do realize I can hear everything. Bastard wants Kathan back less than we do. Count on that. Coward. You two deserve each other. Hate me all you want when we get home, kid. But it's the only option. I'm not going anywhere with you. He's got a point, Johnny. Our arrangement was for you. Don't get cute with me, yucky. I'd love to see the look on his face when he gets back. But, first things first. Let's see if you're worth all the fuss, shall we? a little diversion. I promise it won't be any worse than what Lilith had planned for you. But here we are. Here you are, child of the people. <laughs> Your time will come, Ryder. But today, my interests lie elsewhere. will heal you.
welcome assistance. No mercy for the servants of women. Welcome assistance. No one else concerned about where we are. It may look like hell, but don't believe your eyes. Your mother abandoned. Feel my call. Herself could not best me. What makes you think you will carry Return to your mother. I've encountered all sorts of unusual beings through the ages, but you. Little hunter, are something truly unique. Your very existence is against the rules. Your words are meaningless to me, Demon. You'll come to understand. <laughs> Just like old times.
hardly imagine what sins they were guilty of to deserve that. Though I had heard your little team was making trouble up there for Lilith. You haven't seen anything yet, but your time will come. I am afraid I might not make it back from this one. This shall be of great help. Not being on the receiving end of your wrath. You are unprepared. Apparently, she's promiscuous. The power of the light. I would have guessed you were aligned with Lilith. The advantage is mine. This changes. That's the last of them. But stay on your toes. Already your efforts send shockwaves across the multiverse, Hunter. Your mother will be so proud. I am just getting started. Good. So am I. Usurper! You forget. You are not the ruler of Limbo. I am! Indiana, nicely done. You always were so gifted. So gifted, you stole me from my parents. Twisted me into a living weapon until I cast you from this very realm? I mean, yes. This is starting to sound familiar. I have reopened Blaze's portal. As well as a few others. Leave. Now. Mephisto and I have some catching up to do. Huh. A minor inconvenience. I had lost you, child. I am pleased you. 
the page. He carries the page. Retrieve it for me. into the fire. I hope you've got some fight left in you. On that, we are agreed. I am still the prize. again. Let us see if they have an answer for this.
not shaken their confidence. Poor daughters of Lilith. How many will she damn to hell? My mother will sacrifice any and all of her children to achieve her goals. How sad. alone and forgotten. Answer for this. Next time, run while you still can. and send them back to Lilith in ashes. You read my mind. Was that truly your best? We've done. 
done it. Excellent work. twisting inside me, you know? Who's to say I won't? You are not Blaze, Robbie. But I led you straight to him. Played right into his little game. If Eliana hadn't been there... But I was there, Robbie. As you are always for me. It is time we go home. I'm gonna find him. Blaze. And when I do... tried to sell us out and we're still going to trust him?
Wade and I, we've worked with Johnny before. Morale is feeling pretty high these days. Wanda's return to us is like starting a whole new chapter. The one where we drive back the forces of hell. I'm kind of busy right now. Cleaning your car? It's gotta be done. If I don't, no one else will. I am sorry you are stuck with the burden of the parchment, Robbie. Don't be. It's fine. If you need help... I said it's fine. If there is something you need to get off your chest... You mean like the parchment? No. It's in there pretty snug. I'm doing great otherwise. It's not like any major life role models attempted to sell us out to Mephisto recently. Robbie, I... Thanks for checking on me, Hunter. Later. I just want to be alone right now. Thanks. I see things are going well for you, too. Watching me practice defensively. Look at me. You've gone through so much, and here I am getting comfort from you like a selfish jerk. Almost as bad as an Avenger. <laughs> You're not that bad, Ileana, I promise. Liar. I might as well put on a cape and start calling myself doctor. Don't be so hard on yourself. You saw your tormentor today. That couldn't have been easy. It's good to have you back, sister. It's good to be back, sister. We'll finish this conversation later. Looks like someone wants to talk to you. She's all yours. You wanted to know who was behind the Solus. Now we all know. How do you know Mephisto? He was the Dark Lord who kidnapped me from this realm and dragged me to Limbo. He raised me as his daughter. He is the only father I ever knew. And my biggest enemy. I am sorry, Ileana. I know how difficult that can be. Well, I am not sorry. I got the father I needed to become who I am. Without Mephisto, there would be no magic, no one to open portals for you to walk through. Just as without Lilith, there would be no you, no Hunter. In a way, I owe him everything, even though he took everything from me. He made me Dark Child, gave me the gift of ruling Limbo. And today, I booted him from it. And it wasn't the first time. Ileana, are you feeling guilty for what you did to him? Me? Guilty? <laughs> no, never. I will never let guilt weigh down my conscience, and neither should you when it comes to what you need to do. Take care of your mother in the end. Don't hesitate, and don't show mercy. We must look forward to the challenges that lay ahead. Sleep well tonight, Ileana. You deserve it. Good night, Hunter. Johnny Blaze's master plan was to entrust the parchment of power to Mephisto. <laughs> Bravo, Ghost Rider.
Stop being so defensive and listen to us, Robbie. We're just worried about you, that's all. No need to be worried. I got this. I don't think you fully understand what you're carrying. The parchment packs a lot of evil. And what? You don't think I can handle it? I'll have you know that you aren't the only one who has a corner on controlling darkness. Just ask Sparky. We're just concerned. Concerned? You're starting to sound an awful lot like Caretaker, Nico. Since when did you become such a jerk? Since he started carrying that damn page, that's Why when... don't you worry about yourself, Blade? Whatever you say, Robbie. Why don't you go find Peter? Well, maybe I will. I'm out. Well, we tried. The parchment of power is no joke. Then again, neither is Robbie. Let's just hope he's right and he can handle it. Yeah, let's hope. Point taken. We will have to keep an eye on him. Make sure the page isn't having any strange effects on him. Ain't gonna go easy. Caretaker could have at least... Back again. Let's see him try to handle me now. Better test this out next time. See you around. It's weird. I this need to be out here. Curious. Interesting. Intriguing. Something about Jeremiah Kane's statue drew me. Guess it's that old spirit of vengeance connection, huh? Like you, Kane carried more burdens than any one man should. Yep, so he knew how the big honor could also become a curse. Do you feel like you have been cursed? Absolutely. I mean, 
It's awesome to be one of the Midnight Suns and have the incredible responsibility of carrying the parchment of power. But it also really sucks. If luck is with us, you will not have to carry the parchment for long. I can carry it for as long as necessary. However long Blaze had it, I can keep it for as long or longer. I did not mean to imply you did not have what it takes. But I do have what it takes. And I don't need luck. Blaze's betrayal probably soured your outlook. Uh, about that. I keep thinking about what happened back in Limbo. Right before all the fighting broke out, when Blaze told me you were the key to the parchment, the prophecy, all of it. And that if we took you out, the world might survive. Robbie. I, I know what you're gonna say. Don't trust Blaze. I get it. Which is why I'm thinking I should read this parchment for myself and find out exactly what caused him to get so worked up about you. The forces of the parchment and the dark hold are not to be trifled with, Robbie. You cannot expect to read the page the way you would a normal book. Oh boy, here we go. More of that. This is beyond you, Robbie. I've been hearing this junk since I asked to see my first R-rated movie as a kid. Guess what? I snuck into those movies, and I can sneak a peek at the parchment. Trust me, this is not the same as childhood misbehavior. You are gambling not just with your life, but the lives of all of those who love you. Fine, forget it. I'm not gonna read the page. Happy now? I am relieved, yes. But what are you going to do instead? I'm gonna do what I normally do. Sit and worry. And hope Stark hurries up with whatever he's building in the forge. That may take a while. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't hear you say that. After all this, I better get a statue of my own around. Time to take it to the next level. If you can beat Carol in a straight fight, I'll let you skip training. Good luck with that. Just tell me. I already told you. That was just a bunch of hocus pocus mumbo jumbo. Authored by the hand of a corrupted elder god, vile, unspeakable evil power contained within its pages. I get it. The Darkhold is bad. But I'm a scientist. I need facts, examples, highlights, lowlights. Are you really asking me for a book report on the Dark? I mean, I could just blast the page to smithereens without knowing the context, but understanding it is so much more interesting. Context or no context, I'm still skeptical that your plan will actually work. Well, okay, then share your deep insights with me, Dr. Spooky. Come on, spill the beans. I have no beans to spill, Tony. I think I need some fresh air. I just hope this is what you were expecting, Hunter. You want the magic highlights, Tony? Here's your highlight. I'm happy to help, Hunter. Hey, Hunter. Let me do my... Sometimes, I even impress myself. Always a pleasure. I guess you're wondering why Strange and I were getting into it. I saw enough. Uh, he gets so huffy and precious when it comes to his magic stuff. Everything has to be shrouded in mystery, like he's on stage in Vegas or something. I think he's afraid I'm going to turn around and become an even greater sorcerer than he is. Well, Tony, you are a bit competitive. I would not blame him for becoming a bit territorial as a result. Aw, oh, there's nothing wrong with a little friendly competition, is there? 
I do not think Strange sees it as friendly. Well, when he comes back, I'll try to smile bigger. Maybe that'll give him a hint. Surely there is a way for you both to work together in harmony. Uh, you'll never catch us in the same barbershop quartet. But, given enough time, I'm sure I can reverse engineer an Elder God's programming language. Sure, you may not be able to understand what I'm saying, but that's not my problem. So you think the Darkhold is no different from some fabulous bit of technology? Oh, absolutely. And like any other fabulous bit of technology, it's only a matter of time before I figure out how to do what I want to do with it. Every problem has a solution, my resurrected friend. And I'm going to find it. It will be a challenge, but I know you can handle it. Well, you don't have to tell me twice. Actually, uh, you can tell me several times. I'm such a shameless sucker for praise. And what about Strange? Are you going to let him sulk? Oh, I'll find Dr. Spooky later, and explain my position clearly. Make sure he understands. It might help if you stop calling him Dr. Spooky. Yeah, you're right. I should use his name. Steven Spooky. I give up. Well, don't give up yet. You need to get the research going on the Gamma Accelerator. I've got the pieces and Dad's research, and I'm ready to go. I'm serious about getting the research started. Parchman isn't going to blow itself up. Let's get started, Dr. Spooky. Time's wasting, Hunter. I think we've got stuff. Hunter. Punches are flying fast around here. I came out here to cool down. Carol kindly suggested I work out my frustrations on the punching bag. Her suggestion was wise. I am afraid I know the source of your frustrations. If you think this source has got salon sculpted facial hair and an ego the size of Montana, then you are correct. Surely you understand this is how Stark is with everyone else, do you not? I understand it, intellectually. Yet the outrage still burns in my heart. Fair. Just do us all a favor and try not to break his jaw, all right? We need him in one piece. The problem with Tony is that he's too cavalier. I suppose that attitude has contributed to his success, but he can't do it with the arcane. It's a completely different realm. One that will deal him a brutal defeat if he doesn't change his ways. You do not think he can destroy the Parchment of Power? I don't think he understands just what the page represents. His whole life has been ones and zeros. The forces that shaped the Darkhold were powerful long before numbers or technology. They exist outside of the theory of relativity or quantum mechanics. They are elemental and esoteric as the rules of the dream space. I hope the two of you can reach an understanding. If he wants to work things out, he knows where to find me. Hopefully, <clears throat> my aggressions will have been worked out by then. <clears throat> That'll show him. <clears throat> 